Hello, it's Jay here and welcome to a new series. Now, in this series we're going to create a 2.5D fighting game. So, we're going to use 3D models, but we're going to fight across a two-dimensional plane. Now, as you can see, I've created a new project and just imported the standard assets. So with that said, let's uh, begin and we'll create a folder and we'll call this scenes. Let's come to window, lighting and settings and we'll just turn off auto generate. File, save scene as, let's come inside that new scenes folder and we'll just call this splash screen and we'll enter there so that's the scene saved off let's create another folder and we'll call this scripts we'll create a c-sharp script just called splash screen and we'll open that up in mono develop for editing and may just take a moment to open up okay there's the script open let's come right at the very top here and we'll just create some comments so three forward slashes and I'll put my name and the date I created it, the 16th of the 4th, 2017. And above public class, we'll open brackets, the square type of brackets, require component, open brackets, type of, we'll open brackets again audio source we'll close brackets twice then we'll close the square brackets and into the comments add audio source when attaching the script I'll just create a line break there we'll just save for a moment so we have our comment what we've created, who's created it, and the date. And we're telling the script to attach an audio source when we attach the script to a game object. So, with that said, we need to create a list of variables. So we'll start with public, texture, and 2D, underscore, and we'll give it a naming convention of splash screen background. We'll close the line off, enter the comments, create slot in inspector to assign, and we'll say splash screen background image public and of type texture 2d again underscore and we want splash screen text again we'll close the line off into the comments and as before, create slot in inspector to assign splash screen text. And then we'll come below. We'll create a line break. And this can be of type private. And audio source. And we'll give it a naming convention of underscore and again splash screen audio. We'll close the line off, 
into the comments defines naming convention for audio source component we'll come to the line below and this time we want to type public audio clip underscore splash screen music again we'll close the line off create slot in inspector to assign and we'll just say splash screen music so these variables are quite self-explanatory for our image and our audio that will be used in the splash screen now the splash screen is going to fade it's going to begin as a black background and then it's going to fade in some text and then it's going to fade the text out again before we actually load the next scene just to make the whole thing look more professional so for that we need some other variables and these can be of type private and they can be of type float splash screen fade value we'll close the line off now we're not going to put a value in here but we'll come to the comments and we'll say defines fade value and again of type private of type float again underscore and that should be a small s splash screen and we want the fade speed and I'm going to give mine a value so we'll say equals 0 point and I'm going to use 15f we'll close the line off and into the comments so we'll say defines fade speed and I may change that value I may leave it as it is obviously that's something that we can test out once we actually get the script up and running so let's come below here and this again can be a private and of type enum and we're going to say and it's a naming convention of splash screen controller we'll open and we'll close brackets there so we'll come inside and we'll say splash screen fade in we're going to say equals zero comma and splash screen and this time we want fade out and we're going to say that's equal to one now no comma when we create an, e, an enum block there is no comma on the last one so with that said let's come to the comments defines states splash screen let's just put for splash screen and then we have to give splash screen controller a naming convention so we'll come just above and again this can be of type private and we'll actually use this variable splash screen controller and then we'll give it a naming convention and I'll just paste that in again I'll come to the front, we'll delete the S and we'll just use underscore small s. We'll come back to the end of the line, we'll close the line off into the comments. Defines 
naming convention for splash screen. Yeah, in fact, we'll put a splash screen controller. And we're going to come here below the void update block, but before the last close bracket. So, these will be used to control how the splash screen works. And please don't worry if you do not understand about enums, because we will go over how they work in the coming lessons as we flesh out more of this script. But I think for now, we'll just create these two voids. So we'll come below void update here. And in fact, let's just copy these naming conventions. So these can be private. They can be of type void because they don't return a value. We'll copy and paste the first naming convention in, splash screen fade in. We'll come to the end of the line, we'll open and close brackets, we'll open and close again. We'll come inside and we'll create a debug.log. We'll open and close brackets, close line off inside the debug log, little speech marks, and again, we'll copy and paste that naming convention in. Once we've done that, we'll copy the whole block, we'll paste it in below here, and then we'll just copy and paste the splash screen fade out naming convention. First there, and then into the debug log. And let's save that off there. We can downsize mono develop, we can come to the main camera and we'll just assign the script. As you can see, it's already attached an audio source for us. We'll come to console. Don't worry about this error. It's just because we are not doing anything with this variable as yet, but we will be in the following lessons. So that error will automatically be fixed as we continue. So I think we'll leave it here for the first video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. And until then, bye for now.